the bad audio quality at the moment. I'm using the same camera as I normally do, but it's fairly windy out right now, so it's going to be um, a little crackly, I guess, is the best word I can find for it right now. Um, I just have to talk louder. I've got two tutorials for you today. Um, they might be hard, they might not, depending on your level. Uh, for this one, uh, you're going to need to know the fountain. Um, and if you don't know the fountain, then learn the fountain really quickly. You start in, and this is the three beat fountain. You start spinning three beat weave in reverse, transfer to the windmill, transfer to the three beat weave in forward, transfer back there. That's the basic fountain. What I'm teaching you today is the anti-spin fountain. I mentioned the anti-spin fountain in an earlier video, and I said I was probably going to do it in the next video. I didn't, so I'm getting it to it now instead. The anti-spin fountain is the exact same thing as this, except instead of moving your hand and the foy in the same direction, if you look at that, my hands are going this way, and the foy are spinning that way as well. So, combining them, they go like that. Instead of that, you're moving... That didn't happen. Instead of that, you're moving the poi in this direction, which is backwards, and you're moving your hands the opposite way. And I've been working on this variation of the fountain for a while now. It's not the same anti-spin fountain that Nick Woolsey teaches in his um, tutorial on the anti-spin fountain. He did the anti-spin two-beat fountain. Um, two-beat fountains are, fountains are somehow really hard to me. Um, I'm good with two-beat weaves, but the fountains themselves are really difficult. Um, three-beat weaves, on the other hand, I practiced so much that they became really natural. So, it only goes to show that the three-beat fountain in anti-spin would be natural as well. I'll teach you the basics of it really quick. Um, well, I guess not really quick, but thoroughly. You spin forward here. While you're spinning forward, there's going to be a point where this poi crosses over the top here, instead of on the bottom. When it crosses over the top, it's already going into an upwards motion. You're going to continue that motion and throw it behind your head so that you get to this point. So that'll look like this, right? From here. Okay, now, scratch that. As this one's coming over, you're going to throw the other one under and up. I was forgetting a step in there. So, from here, under and up. Under and up. Under and up. So, this koi is going to be following, right? It's going to pass once in the front and then go to the back. So, from here, again, I'll show you that. You go from here, from here, and then once you're in this position, you're going to go from here, This time, this one is still going to pass to the front first. When it passes to the front here, you're going to bring it back this way. So, you're going to continue it into a weave here. And then from that weave, you're going to cut back around again. Up, down, up, down. And then, once you get those basic motions, study them. Get muscle memory in, and then try moving your hands in as complete of a circle as you can while you're doing this motion. In a very smooth, rhythmic motion. Um, I don't know if I've counted it correctly, um, but I believe that when you do it right, this will make a 12-petal flower um, when people are watching on. It's a really, really beautiful technique. Um, once you get good enough with it, you can start in the regular fountain, and then when you hit a spot, you can just reverse it entirely, which gets really useful um, learning that control. Okay, 
So, hopefully that's helped you. Um, I don't want to try going into the two-beat one because of how hard that is for me. Um, I don't think I would be able to teach you anything about it, but Nick Woolsey, like I said, has a fantastic video on that. Um, if you know any other variations on this, go ahead and tell me. Um, and hopefully, we'll all learn something from it. Alright, have a good day.